It is time to get fit with Jeff McDaniel. Fitness Friday, and uh, all right, so we, we are not going to be getting thrown on the ground doing stuff. I'm so glad to see this table out, because that means <laughs> I don't have to take my jacket off and sweat on the air, which is great. Unless we're doing push-ups off of it. Well, that, that, okay, they're, in, they're very easy push-ups, so that's fine. Uh, we're talking about fitness trackers, though. I, I'm a assuming. Non, a non-sweat segment, how about that? I like all it. All right, because we do talk about fitness a lot on here. And the, the hottest trends right now, especially the last couple of years, has been fitness trackers. Mm -hmm. So we're going to look at the differences between wrist trackers versus the chest belt. Right. What are the key differences? Give you three of them, right? Because I see, you know, I you've got, got yeah, yours. I've got mine. Mine's a Garmin. You've got your I the, the, watch. The, the, this is the Apple Watch. Apple Watch, yeah. All right. So three things, three differences. Accuracy first. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, these are heart rate monitors. And the further we get away from the heart, we lose accuracy. Mm -hmm. So this is never going to be as accurate as that. Matter of fact, Fitbit just got into a trouble head court case where they were basically overvaluing their accuracy right, right. and found like like these only are about 44% accurate. Mm -hmm. You know, versus this is somewhere around 99% is when you compare it to like an EKG. Right. Secondly, you've got like the reliability. If I do things like push-ups from a wrist tracker standpoint, this will stop. Mm -hmm. And they even tell you on the websites of all like Polar and Garmin, all those that, um, you know, if you're doing like some non-rhythmic exercises, they lose accuracy on that. So mm -hmm. you gotta look at like type of movements. Right. Third thing is versatility. On most of these, I don't know about yours like this, but you have to like program, am I lifting weights? Am I doing cardio, like right. running? Mm -hmm. And you have to, you know, depend on the workout where versus this, the my zone, doesn't matter. You get in, it beeps one time and it's ready to go. Right. Track your sleep, track your workout. So mm -hmm. there's, there's ultimately now it, it comes down like uh, what you like to wear. Mm -hmm. This is always, we went entirely with this with our clients because of the uh, accuracy of mm -hmm. it, but you know, some people may enjoy the wrist. I'm a big fan of the MyZone belt. I mm -hmm. think if you're going in it for like fitness progress and a track right. that, there's nothing like For this. HIIT training, it's much yes. better, much more accurate, because they say this takes much longer to react as opposed to this one right there, much closer to the heart. Right. So for HIIT training, that's definitely the one to go. And ultimately, most people get into this because they're wanting to do a couple things calorie burn, mm -hmm. track their fitness progress. So, you know, how do you do that accurate right there? So obviously, again, closer to the heart, the better, mm -hmm. further out, not as accurate, right. but uh, you may not be uh, want to wear this right. all day long and all. Yeah, well, you if, you get, if you're worried about your heart though, and you're running, get both. I mean, this is a fantastic running watch because it's got yeah. GPS and it tells you your elevation change and your map and everything, but this is much better right. for your heart. So if you're worried about that, it'll yell at you, stop running so hard. This is the Garmin, yep. this is the Apple Watch, and mm -hmm. this is the MyZone belt. Yeah. So, I would it, say it's I'd a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on what you like, but as yeah. far as accuracy, my zone wins. Yeah. Very cool stuff. And hey, keeping us all safe, too. Not just about fitness, but keeping us safe, too. Seeing our heart rate up too high. Well, I mean, you talked about like sleep patterns. Mm -hmm. You know, not just working out, yeah. but at sleep. Yeah, sleep. It's good to know whether you're not sleeping and what we're, <laughs> we're not doing. Appreciate that, Jeff. Amanda, over to you.